Hi, this is Karthik from Design School BWP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress creator. I make a WordPress and a render tutorial for beginners. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you get notified of every new video I make. Now, in this video, I just want to discuss how you can achieve cost estimator forms using Elementor and ACF. I've already made a couple of videos on how to do this, a couple of different methods showing you how to do cost estimation logic on your website. The first method was by using Jet Engine, and the second method was by using Dynamic Content Plugin for Elementor. In this video, I just want to show you how you can do it with all free tools Elementor free, ACF free, and a couple of free plugins. Well, that might sound like a lot of plugins, but it's quite simple. Also, all the tools are free and they have their own limitation which we'll discuss in a bit so let's see how you can do cost estimation logic using acf and elementor let's get into today's video so the plugins that you need to have are of course elementor and acf advanced custom fields so in the wordpress repo search for acf you need to have this plugin which we talked about in the previous video you can watch advanced custom fields playlist in which I explain how to do post submissions and user registrations using ACF frontend forms. So you need to have this plugin installed. The ACF plugin itself, advanced custom fields, you have to have this installed. And then there's a, another plugin called calculated fields for ACF. So you need to install this plugin as well. So Elementor, calculated fields, Frontend forms, if you have ACF Pro, you can skip this plugin because that this functionality is present in ACF Pro. Since we're talking about the free plugins, you can install this and this one and the calculated fields for ACF plugin. Now, this is how it's gonna work. So once you have all these plugins installed, you just create a field set. So I'll click on custom fields and I'll just click add new, I'll say, cost fields I'll click on add field and the first field well these are the fields that you want users to pick so that you can perform that calculation so let's start creating the fields that we need users to pick here's my formula I just want users to pick a number of pages he wants and I'll multiply number of pages with 50 and then I'll let user choose additional services such as hosting SEO and all that so there's another field for that which I'll create and finally, I can ask him for how long he wants to work with us. So based on that, I'll add another field or another field value to the total cost. So the first field I want to create is number of pages or I'll simply call it pages. And the field name will be pages and the field type. Since we're talking about math formula, these field types have to be numbers. Now I said this method has a couple of disadvantages the first one is that this whole logic works with number and select field it doesn't work with checkbox radio button true false or whatever else right it even doesn't work with range field maybe they'll add or update the functionality in the future versions but this doesn't seem to work in the current version so I'll let user pick the number of pages right so this is one I'll make it required and you can make each field itself so you can add the value so the value of this field can be calculated based on a simple math expression but we don't want that we want this to be a part of another formula or math expression so the pages is the first field and the second field I want is to let users pick how many years he wants to work with us so I'll call this field years and like I said, you can only pick number and the select field. It's supposed to work with checkbox and radio buttons as well. I don't know why. Maybe the calculated field, maybe they have to update the functionality. I'll pick select from here and under choices, I just need to specify value. So if he wants to work with me for one year, I'll charge him 150 bucks. You have to separate value with the label and the label will be one year. And then if he wants to work for two years, I'll charge him 250 bucks. So the first one is value colon and the second one is the label that the user will see. You can also customize that. 
so the written format here you'll calculate the formula internally so you don't need the value written format you just need the label right or you can show both but we'll simply show him the label so that he'll pick the label which is one year or two years and based on that the cost will be applied so that's the second field we'll also make this required actually we'll make all the fields required right i'll close this now the next field is services the additional services i want him to pick so i'll call it services and the type i'll make it a select since other values are not working so if he picks seo i'll charge him 100 bucks i'll charge him 200 if he picks seo plus hosting since the checkboxes don't work this is the workaround that i found out on how to let users pick multiple values so this option will be shown and this value will be applied similarly seo plus hosting plus maintenance will cost him 300 bucks so i'll just display it in this format okay so that's my third field again i'll make it required and the output value written format i just want label because the label is this one which the user will see not the value the value will be internally used for calculating the cost so based on the fields that you want to pick you can either choose a number field or a select field i think this is enough for my formula so the next field is the cost field itself i'll type cost and the type it can be text it can be a number it can be anything let's pick text itself it doesn't matter and here this is where you enter your math formula i'll also make this read only because we don't want users to change the cost field because that will kind of mess things up and the formula well how do you add the formula you just refer the fields by their names so if i want the pages value to be multiplied by 50 i say pages times 50 and then to this you can add year so this is my formula so pages multiplied by 50 plus years plus services i'll copy the name so you have to copy the name not the label so name is how this field is gonna work so i just picked that and i'll change this from user form or i'll change this to current user viewing it on the front end you can obviously exclude logged in users or maybe you can include just logged in users by adding another condition but this condition will do so if the current user is just viewing this form on the front end then we'll show this field group so that he can actually calculate this whole thing and rest all you can leave it as is i'll just publish this and i'll maybe remove the other groups that might be appearing on the front end so i'll remove this field and this field group so that we just have cost fields showing up on the front end forms just to make things a little bit easier and the next thing that we need to do is to create a page a wordpress page i'll click on add new it'll open up the page so i'll just call it estimation or estimate you can call it anything you want i'll call it estimate and then i'll click on edit with elementor so the title of the page will become estimate or you can say cost form or cost estimator form however you like it's your personal preference so once you're in the elementor interface we'll use the acf front end forms that we discussed in the previous video of acf playlist right it's this one so you just simply click and drag it and under actions you don't want actually any action right you don't want any action of any sort maybe you can create a custom post type with all the values so that the entries are stored so you can create a custom post type called entries and you can store or you can create a new post so you can say new post and the post type will be obviously entry so you can choose entry from here so that these fields are mapped onto the back end i'll show you that in a bit so you can choose actions as new post and fields 
you need to click on field groups and the ACF field group that we want to show in this form are cost fields. Now I'll click on post. I'll hide the title because I don't really need the title or maybe we need the title or we'll just change the title. to cost calculator so this is the title and you can see all those fields appear here and we'll also make sure that all the fields just have the label setup written value is label so we'll do that I'll publish this page on this page and click on permissions and we'll change this to all users or we'll change this to only locked out users you can allow anyone else to do this I'll just update now I'll open up a browser where I'm not logged in just to make things a little bit easier and there's our cost calculator form it's still showing post title which is kind of a bummer I think I disabled it and you need to make sure that you need to have spaces in between the choice and the value else this is gonna happen it's gonna screw up the display format so just making sure that I add those spaces between choice and values like this I think that would now display it properly I'll refresh this page again and now only the label shows up instead of the label value pair now the user can simply pick let's start typing so the number of pages I want are 10 and you can see instantly it shows the cost for 10 pages and you can see I cannot edit this because I just made it read only and that's also added by the ACF cost field plugin if I change this to 2 years you can see the cost automatically changes to 850 so 10 times 50 is 500 plus 250 is 750 and for SEO I'm charging 100 bucks more so that's 850 if I pick SEO plus hosting you can see the cost instantly changes to 950 so it choose this it changes to 1050 as simple as that so simply by picking the options and typing the values you can have multiple number fields and multiple select fields but my formula just needs this so it's quite easy to dis display this cost estimator form so the two most important things to remember are whenever you add the select field the value and the label should be separated on either side of colon using spaces only then it will work also you can limit this to show only on front end so there is an option you can limit this to that but it's really not necessary so you can sh show these fields only on the front end the same thing with services since they have multiple options the value and the label on either side of column have to be separated by the space right space on both sides of colon and that's how it's gonna work so that's one thing to note and if you don't see the form you need to click on the elementor page and you need to click on permissions and adjust the values and also you need to adjust where this form shows up anyway I think the form is doing great I'll refresh this I'll click on leave now it simply shows the title pages I've just disabled the title from the page I'll just click on this page click on post and you need to set the post title field to none so it's that's how you do the cost calculator now you can simply enter the pages and stuff you can test it and just like that now how about adding some custom CSS to this right I'll click on the form I'll click on advanced since this is an elementor widget if you have elementor pro it's not necessary you can take this code and put it in customizer so, so I'll say selector form input and let's change this or let's remove input itself and let's change the width to 50% maybe and you can see all the fields are now 50% width you can change the other values and also if you have theme styles active it will get the field styles from what you define in the theme styles interface I just also want to style up this cost logic a bit so since it's read only you can target that by using if you don't have the pro version of Elementor 
click on advanced give this a class name replace selector with dot class name here and here take this whole code and put it in the customized area of your theme even that way it will work or you can use master add-ons custom css extension i'll update this let's see how that looks like i'll click on leave i'll hit 10 and just like that the cost now gets the value from here you can also change the font weight i'll make it bold font size i'll change as well maybe i'll change it to 20 pixels just to make it a bit more clear update we'll see how that looks like i'll click on reload now if i enter pages cost is clearly shown right you can change the title to cost in dollars or whatever or you can use here's a pseudo element to add the dollar sign now the cost is clearly shown and it's big and bold you can clearly see the cost in so that's how you do cost estimator logics and the cost estimator field supports even math formulas such as sine cost logarithm and all that but i think this would do you can add subtractions additions or divisions you can calculate the value of each field itself so based on how your logic is this is how you can do cost estimator logic using elementor free acf free and a couple of free plugins hopefully that made sense and the css i'll just try to leave it in the description it's quite simple or you can simply type it it's not a big deal all i did was to target the form by using selector and form i just changed the width to this and then this is to style the cost estimators text just change the color font weight and font size since i made this field read only i'm actually targeting the field using the attribute in this format and you can add any properties that you want i think that would do hopefully you understood how easy it is to do it all by using elementor and acf free let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'll talk to you in the next one peace